Hi everyone, it's Kathy and I'm back with another junk journal. This time I made the junk journal to fit in a, <clears throat> a beautiful lace pouch. As you can see, it's trimmed with lots of different laces, <clears throat> some pearl trim, more lace on the bottom, and on the back, uh, two doilies. The pouch is all quilted. You can see close up that there's all machine quilting done on it and it's lined with eyelet lace or eyelet fabric and then inside the pouch is a journal the pouch measures seven and a quarter by 11 inches when it's closed and when it's open it's 11 by 12 inches and so this journal fits perfectly inside the journal measures 5 by 8 inches <clears throat> and has 32 pages in five mini journals you can see from the cover that it also has some lace on the spine. It's the closure is just some sari silk and this beautiful paper collection is from Peon Designs. Their papers are very soft and subtle and I've stitched all the way around the cover and the back cover. So let's just get inside. The inside front cover has a pocket with a tag that has some decoupage and a beautiful vintage image of these three little children. next page is a doily pocket with a button and the first little booklet trimmed with lace and some snippets from a doily inside several pages for you to journal Look at that paper. Isn't that gorgeous? The next page is a tuck spot. The little charm. And an altered layaway tag. Some graph paper with some sari silk and a little bit of bling. Another beautiful sheet of paper from the collection used as a pocket with two with a tag and some ephemera. Next page has a glassine bag with a couple of tags. You can journal on these as well. Some music paper, music sheet paper, and a glassine bag, again trimmed with some beautiful lace. And then another little booklet. More room for journaling. All photos. And 
and then another sheet of that gorgeous paper with some stitching all around. And the next page has a vintage photo. And then some vellum that I stamped on. Another vintage photo with some more of that gorgeous paper. And tucked inside is another vintage photo. On that page, looks like two sisters and an eyelet pocket with more of that beautiful paper and another little booklet. And the next page has a tuck spot with a tag. And then a little pocket with some more journaling cards. And the other side of the vellum paper, more stamping. And the next page is an envelope with a journaling card. And the envelope also can be used to tuck away some of your mementos, some notes, other little treasures. And behind the envelope is a Tag. One more journaling. And the next page, there's a belly band with a piece of an old quilt and some lace and another booklet for journaling. And the next page is the back of the glassine bag with a vintage image and more music sheet paper with a tuck spot and an altered alterations tag. And a collage. And the next page has a lace pocket with a charm of a little bit of bling and glassine envelope again with a piece of an old quilt and some lace and inside is the remaining portion of the alterations tag. And then another little tag with some seam binding. And another glassine envelope with some ephemera. And a doily, the button. And a lace pocket with another booklet. Has some stamping on the pages. A glassine bag to tuck in some memorabilia. And the inside back cover has a library pocket 
with an altered library card, some lace and cheesecloth, and a rusty little baby rusty pin. Again, the back of the journal. So there you have it. This um, gorgeous junk journal made from paper collection by Peon Design together with a lace pouch this would make a great gift remember Christmas is not that far away even though we'd like to think it is it really isn't so this would make a great Christmas gift for someone um, get, just get started on your shopping early so this one is for sale again if interested contact me at Kathy Cadeal at yahoo.com leave a comment below and I will get back to you with the details again thank you so much for watching thank you for all your comments and for contacting me those of you that have asked for special orders um, I was happy to take care of that again it is for sale so contact me at Kathy Cadeal at yahoo.com. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.